Hello everyone. Hopefully you will be fine and enjoying the course of life. Uh, today let's talk about how to configure and import currency exchange rates in Dynamics 365 Finance Operations. Before you can import exchange rates, you must set up some information uh, that is required by providers who offer the exchange rates. Knowing how to configure exchange rate providers help reduce the time to manage ongoing changes in the market regarding exchange rates. Even though companies can either develop, purchase, or subscribe to the exchange rate provider services, you will find uh, built-in uh, providers in the finance. By default, Dynamics 365 Finance and Operation, operation provides uh, three different providers, uh, like two of them are the free of cost and one requires the API purchase. The first two are the Central Bank of Russian Federation, and now the second is the Central Bank of Europe, and the paid one is Oanda Rates. Dynamics 365 also provides the option to customize uh, this provider's area, so the developers can add uh, more providers as they wish to. By going into uh, Exchange Rate Provider Setup and creating a new one for that. While we are working uh, on the multi-currency environment, we need to configure a few things before that. So first thing is to define the exchange rate types. Let's go in the general ledger. Uh, under the currency setup, uh, we will find the currency exchange rate types. Exchange rate types are shared data across finance and operations and only need to set up once. Exchange rate types are a grouping that allows different exchange rates for two currencies. Example includes buy, sell, spot, and budget. If a company trades with multiple currencies, they must use multiple exchange rate conversions. So we do have average, budget, CB, closing, constant, default, export, and export, import, and market, and wanda. Now let's discuss about how our Dynamics uh, calculates the conversion. For example, uh, rate is entered on January 1, and another rate is entered on Feb 1. The sales order is, is invoiced on Feb 15. The exchange rate from Jan 1 is used to calculate the invoice amount. If the sales order is invoiced on Feb 2, the rate from Feb 1 will be used as an adjustment. Secondly, while working with exchange rate types, you will need to define the exchange rates for each of the type. So, for demo purposes, let's use default global rates. From here, I will go to the exchange rates. In here, by specifying the currencies, currency pairs even, uh, like from currency and to currency, in here I will be uh, selecting add, like say if I add a value, it adds a row, start date. These dates are only used to, uh, to display the exchange rates, like you, if you are finding some date, you will be going from date and to date. And the rates uh, which are active on those days will be available. So let's add another rate here. Let's say for 3.9 and exchange rate is 1.4851 and it's from AOD to uh, 0. So let's save it. So we have Two rates. Let's, uh, yeah. So let's uh, filter the date. We have two rates for one for three eight, and the other one for 9th of the March. Another factor is the conversion factor. So here you will be defining the one uh, euro is equal to one AOD. If I go for hundred, which means that uh, for each ten euros, uh, how many uh, Australian dollars will be? Converted. This is one uh, manual way to configure the rates. We do have some uh, automated ways, so let's just discuss about that. Let's go back to the Dynamics currency setup area, and here we do have uh, configure currency exchange rate providers. So in default USMF, we do have uh, three of the default configurations: Central Bank of Russian Federation. Central Bank of Europe and Oanda. This is a complete automated process. You just need to create a new one, like click on the new. If there are these three, if are not configured, will be available here and you will just click OK. All the links, keys and the URLs will be copied automatically 
this will be created automatically for Wanda uh, you will need to have an API uh, this, this can be purchased from their website uh, if, and this will have uh, a 30 days trial I think so this can be subscribed uh, on their website just because it, it is a paid so it has some value as well so it allows you to go for uh, the decimal presses and the port type which uh, rate type you gonna use once these providers are configured then uh, apart from creating uh, rates for some specific date what we will be doing is to import the rates from any of the these um, configured exchange rate providers now let's see how to import the rates I will go back to the currency setup and here I do have an option to import currency exchange rate types so on the import currency exchange rates uh, form uh, you need to select the exchange rate type for which type you want to import the rates that's your default which provider you want to use say we are using the central bank of Europe import as of uh, it means that how many if you are going to uh, import the date for today and uh, uh, otherwise you can use the date range let's say for the date range so i'll be providing here the date range from 1st of march to 31st of march so for demo purposes i will go for today here we have some options like create necessary currency pairs all the necessary currency pairs which are available on the central bank of europe website will be uh, copied in the dynamics override existing existing exchange rates whatever is configured for today's date uh, today's date already there are some rates which are already configured in dynamics 365 so by clicking this to yes those will be overridden single rate for date range like if i have selected the date range here so i'll be uh, providing i can provide if selected to yes this is the dynamics will pick only one rate from that website prevent import on national holidays it means that while the, the, there are holidays so it will not be imported like say if we have a job and our office is working from monday till uh, friday then saturday sundays will be off and those two days will not be imported uh, run in background job uh, provides the uh, possibility opportunity to automate this process like if i don't want to come here on this form uh, every day i can uh, add a batch job so i will be adding the batch processing i can set up the recurrence say it will be running on uh, 6 pm daily at the time zone it will not be ended it will be running daily basis or weekly basis or monthly basis or yearly basis so let's say if we go for the week on every week it will be running on Tuesday so for demo purposes I am not configuring this patch job but it will be running the simple import so finally if I have selected the default exchange rate type uh, which will be uh, for which we will be importing the rates, exchange rate provider, the date, I have written the necessary pairs, I have activated the override existing rates. It will take some time within uh, less than a minute and it's done. So we do have a message that operation has been completed, the exchange rates have been imported. So let's go back to the exchange rates set the default so here we do have the rates for Europe, uh, Australia so these all were imported that's it thank you so in this demo we have covered the exchange rates exchange rate types uh, multi currency environment and the exchange provider. Hope so you have enjoyed the uh, session. Uh, so please comment uh, if you like it. Subscribe to the channel for getting more uh, information about the related Dynamics 365 tutorial contents.